five. Well, that is a, it's, a, it's a plateau in your speaking agenda. It is the use of voice. But it's not only just the use of voice. It's using the other elements you've learned up to that point. Which I think the speaker did. She did use quite a few various things. But the use of voice. Let me just explain. You've heard, everyone has, you have listened to a singer, whether it's on TV or the radio, or the gramophone. Some people might have the gramophone. <laughs> but, a singer, <laughs> but a singer uses their voice, high tones, low tones, long and short. Because if it was monotone, well, you wouldn't be very successful whether you are a speaker or a singer. So the use of voice is very important. Actually, it's probably one of the major elements to speaking, use of voice. This speaker did use her voice. As a, as a note, I think she could have projected a little bit more as a learning point. But, you know, you have to go for everyone's... Everyone has different capabilities. Everyone has their own way of doing things. And she did use her voice. She did use the other elements of uh, the F2, which is speech construction. Actually, there was, I'm not quite sure if there was a structure, a beginning, a middle, and an end. I think towards the end, she kind of went off, off piece a little bit, but that's, that's okay. Speaking with conviction. Well, life experience had a lot of conviction, and she did speak with conviction. She had gestures and use of body language. Walking up the stairs, use of hand gestures. She had facial expressions that went with the speech. So those are good, all good positive elements. I think a learning point, I think an opening statement that kind of punches through the barrier to get everyone's attention to start off with. And I know the title, I think, was It's Not What You Say. Maybe put that in a little bit more context, but it was still there. She used the notes. I think she was sort of objecting to using the notes. You're actually allowed to use notes. Even the best, most experienced speakers have notes because sometimes you're speaking away and you kind of lose track where you are. You need to go answer the notes, even if you have to hold the paper occasionally. Use of notes is perfectly acceptable. So. You don't have to memorize everything unless the speech dedicates that you do not use notes. But this one is predicated upon the use of voice and you can still use notes. So that's not a problem. I think towards the end of the speech, sort of went off base and was congratulating people on coming here. Yeah. My hat off to you on that. We're very happy for people to come up here and speak. Even the novice people, people who have never spoken before, or even people who have spoken, but in front of a different audience. You know, so then you have to speak to everyone. I would say that the speaker does pass, but I will also say at the same time, when you go to your next levels, it will be a little bit more difficult. So I think if you just did a little bit more refining, um, beginning, middle, and an end to the speech. I think that would make it better than Jill, but I would say, because I'm evaluating you mainly on your use of voice, yes, this speaker did pass, and I look forward to her moving on to the next levels.